A crane delicately maneuvers a large gray crate atop a flat truck, its destination, Lion's Rock, a verdant sanctuary nestled in South Africa. Within the confines of this metal enclosure resides a Bengal tiger, once a captive forced to perform in a traveling circus, then confined to the confines of a train carriage. It's hard to imagine they'll truly comprehend their newfound freedom when gazing into yet another crate. Muses Khalil, a veterinarian and project director at Four Paws International, an animal welfare organization. Khalil and his dedicated team orchestrated the rescue of not just one, but four tigers from deplorable conditions in Argentina. After years of confinement in what can only be described as a metal prison, I can only imagine the relief they feel to finally touch the earth, to feel the grass beneath their paws again, Khalil reflects. As the convoy arrives at the sanctuary's gates, the crate door is gingerly unlatched. Khalil and his team observe from a distance as the majestic tiger cautiously emerges into the enclosed field. Tentatively, the tiger's paws sink into the lush grass, its gaze darting from side to side before bounding away from the vessel that transported it across continents. With the first tiger settled, Hildegard Parker, manager of the rescue center located approximately 18 kilometers outside Bethlehem, South Africa, assists in introducing another rescued tiger to its new home. The sanctuary provides refuge for animals rescued from zoos, circuses, and private owners, many of whom have endured years of neglect and mistreatment. We're overjoyed that they have arrived safely and are now free, expresses Parker with a smile, her satisfaction evident in the successful rehabilitation and release of these magnificent creatures. Now the real work begins for us. Over the next few weeks, or however long it takes, we'll be closely monitoring their adjustment to their new surroundings. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that notification bell for daily doses of inspiring real-life stories. Now let's get back to the tale. In 2007, a circus troupe abandoned a male and female tiger duo in San Luis, Argentina. Initially entrusted to a local farmer on a temporary basis, the animals were left in his care when the circus failed to reclaim them. Unfortunately, their handler never returned, leaving the tigers confined to a metal train carriage on the farmer's property. As both tigers were of breeding age and unsterilized, they eventually welcomed two cubs into the world while in captivity. Tragically, the train carriage became a squalid environment, littered with excrement and remnants of meat and bones. Thankfully, that's all behind them now. Tigers need space to roam, play, and engage in their natural behaviors. Spending 15 years pacing back and forth in a train carriage is no life for a tiger, remarked Khalil. Four Paws International reports that Argentinian authorities became aware of the deplorable living conditions in 2021. Following an investigation, the organization was called upon to aid in the relocation of the Tiger family. Given the considerable distance they had to travel, about 70 hours by plane, a skilled team of veterinarians and wildlife experts was assembled to oversee the logistics. Before embarking on their journey, each Tiger was bestowed with a name by Four Paws. The eldest male was dubbed after the renowned soccer star, Lionel Messi. Khalil hopes that the plight of these former circus tigers serves as a poignant reminder of the need for better protection of wild animals and the inherent cruelty of captivity. It's imperative and highly significant that the next course of action involves prohibiting the private captivity of wild animals, he asserted. This is a clear message, a decisive step forward, and it aligns precisely with the mission of Lion's Rock here in South Africa. Our ultimate goal is to eliminate the need for sanctuaries altogether, allowing animals to remain in their natural habitats, free from captivity and breeding. Now that the cats are safely situated in South Africa, Parker will oversee their care, he continued. They're understandably apprehensive at the moment, Everything is new to them, and they're displaying aggression towards each other as they navigate these unfamiliar surroundings," Parker explained. The tigers will initially be housed in pairs in temporary enclosures, providing them with the time and space needed to acclimate and find their footing. Once they've settled, they'll have the opportunity to interact with other cats residing at the sanctuary and eventually transition to larger, more expansive habitats," he elaborated. While our ultimate aspiration is for these tigers to roam freely, that goal must be deferred for now. 
After enduring years of mistreatment, they require rehabilitation, beginning with the simple pleasure of unrestricted movement and the sensation of grasp beneath their paws.